Welcome to the Wixt website builder. In this video we will show you how to add, change and customize a shape design. We'll also show you how to make a shape button. First we'll add one shape. Click on add. Let's go to the shape. There will be many shapes offered to us. We have basic shapes and we have some more complicated shapes, arrows. Picking a hexagon and just dragging it to the page. The first option we'll show is changing shape. When we click on this button, a lot of the larger offer of shapes will open. These are all free Wix shapes. You can select one of the offered or change the types, actions or arrows. Select one of the shapes and click add to page. Your shape will be changed. If you want to change the size of the shape, click and drag one of the resize handles on the edge of the shape. But if you want to change the shape so as to remain in the same proportion, we use only points on the corner. When we open the settings icon, we can add a link, but we'll explain it later. The second option we have is, keep original proportion. When we turn on this option, the shape will change to the original and all the changes will be in that proportion. I recommend that this option be turned on. Customizing a shape can be done on the design icon. When we click on the icon, a panel will open. We have options for color change. Select one of the colors you have offered or go to add color and insert some color by inserting the color code. On the slider, you can change the opacity of the shape. If you turn on the display border option, you will insert the border into your shape and will open some options for setting. You can change the color, opacity, or border width. We can add animation to the shape. Let's go to the animation icon. When we open the panel we choose one of the animations. If we want our shape to serve as a button, click on the link icon. The link setting opens. We will select when clicking on the shape opens one of the pages on the site. In the which page box, we put our story. You can put one of your pages. How does it open? We will leave it to be the current window. Go to done. Now, we will do a check on everything we did. Let's go to preview. We can see that animation works. As we see the shape was clickable. When we click on the shape the page our story opens. Thanks for watching the video, I hope it helped you.